Hi crafty friend, it's Justine. Today I'm going to make a card with the small day of the month called Sitting Pretty with these adorable birds. This one is all put together. This one I will put together with you and it's just very a sweet, it's just a very sweet die with these little birds. And if birds aren't your thing, you can leave them out and you can have a beautiful floral, floral card. I'm also using the embossing folder of the month. There's this one. This is the branching out one. So I think it's pretty and it looks really good on this white paper, I think. So I haven't decided on a sentiment yet. Those are over here, so we'll just get to that when we get to it. So to start out, I'm going to put together some of these little pieces. I've die cut everything out to be ready for this video here today. So I'm just going to layer up these pieces and make some flowers. And this main flower is going to be the nest, if you will, for my two little lovebirds to sit in. I thought that this one it was a really fun die set. My mom used to call my husband and I lovebirds when we were kind of dating still. So I guess she still kind of calls us that, but I don't know. I thought of my mom when I heard the lovebird name. Now this back area I'm going to leave open because that's where my little birds are going to sit in. So I just added glue to the bottom there. And then the green space is going to go on top of this to look like that's the vine. Or the stem, I guess. Really not great with parts of a flower, but I should be. Anyway, <laughs> now this flower can stand alone just as it is, or you can have a shadow, which is what I'm going to do here. I like the look of the shadow, so that's what I'm going for. And I could not figure out what in the world this piece was for. And then I figured out it was for the flower. So <laughs> I definitely glued one of those behind the bird head to help make the illusion of the eyeball. So just saying. <laughs> now I'll layer on the next layer. I'm using Spellbinder cardstock again. Spellbinder's cardstock again. It's just nice and thick and I love the colors. So. I went ahead with that. I especially love this green paper. It's called Sage and it's just one of my favorite greens. All right, so there's my little flower and my big flower. I haven't thought about placement too much because I just kind of wanted to see what everything looked like as I went and I didn't want it to look exactly like the example. So I think we're going to switch it up a little bit and have these little, um, I don't know what these are, but they look really interesting. They're some kind of a bud, and I think that they are kind of fun with orange. So to put those together, I have the orange circles and then the cream centers. So to put those on, I'm just putting glue on the top and bottom. It worked well for this set, so I'm assuming it's going to be fine for this one. And it wasn't too particular about how they went on. I just put the two big ones on the big ones and the little one on the little one. Then for the centers, I'll put the cream on and we will call it all set. This has been a really fun die. I really connected with this flower. I have used it on a few cards that are coming up on my channel here this week. So this is going up on Sunday. So Monday and Tuesday, I'm gonna have some videos up. I know those really aren't the typical days that I post. So surprise, there's gonna be some extras this month um, during this week because the 10th, which is release day, is randomly on a Wednesday. So I got to get my club stuff up before I start posting about the releases. At least that's what I like to do. Okay. Now this flower doesn't have a stem, but we're just going to pretend like it does have one. And then I think my little birds will fit in here. Yes. Oh, isn't that just so cute? Okay, so I'm going to put this part on, which I called <laughs> the, the neck hood, because it kind of looks like, I don't know, I'm a Minnesota gal, 
and there's this piece of clothing that you can wear that's kind of like a ski mask but it covers your neck and head and that's what this reminds me of on the bird so he's gonna just get ready for skiing I guess <laughs> and then his little beak goes on and I think I'm gonna add some Copic marker to his tiny beak I hadn't decided yet when I did his mate I thought to myself that would look cute but did I get to it no anyway I gotta put something behind its head so we have a spot for the eyeball to be drawn on so I'll just snip a tiny piece of paper here and glue it on I do like that Spellbinders makes it so easy to use their dies. They're, they come apart so you don't have to sit there and wire trim them and you don't have to kind of guess where things go. They do have little guides on the website and they also have people like me who show you how to use them. So <laughs> it's kind of a win-win. All right, there's a little eyeball. I just used a regular gel pen for these. Those are my husband's favorite, so they're all over our house. They're kind of like the only pen that we buy. <laughs> I prefer the felt tip, but for something like this, I think it works really well. Okay, now for placement. I have everything kind of where I want it. I'm going to start with the big flower first and got to put my two birds in the nest. So I'm just using Barely Art Liquid Glue, per the huge, and a little bit of light pressing makes these <laughs> dyes come to life. Look how cute they are. Unbelievable. Okay, and then I'm going to tuck that flower in next. I wasn't sure about a sentiment on this one. I really just wasn't drawn to one specifically, so I might just leave this sentimentless. We'll see what ends up happening here. All I know is these birds are looking adorable in their little flower. <laughs> they are sitting pretty, like the dye is called. Okay, now for the flower. That right about there. And our little sprig. And we'll shovel a leaf or two around here. And the other sprig. This is a really fun little pop of orange. I like that I ended up using orange. <laughs> For this card, I was just kind of feeling like using up a whole bunch of my scrap paper, which I keep in kind of rainbow order in these drawers. So whenever I need to die cut, I can just go to the drawer and see, okay, I need, I'm gonna look for pastels or I'm gonna have some cream colors, so what goes well with that and it just kind of puts around until I find just what I want and then I die cut it out and if I don't see what I'm looking for in my scraps then I will cut some paper but I don't like to just go ahead and start cutting a big piece of paper before I've looked in my scraps first. Now my style here is just kind of lightly glue things down and kind of arrange and then press at the end, but, you know, to each their own. <laughs> okay. Sending hugs. Should I use that one? I think that these sentiments from Simon Hurley are adorable. The This was from the Seahorse collection, and then this one that says Happy Anniversary just kind of was, I don't know, it was popping out to me. I think this is the one I'm going to use. So whenever I did die cut this, it did leave a little bit of some paper scraps on the side. So I'm just going to use my shears here and hopefully get that off kind of easily. And 
And then for this one, I'm going to pop this sentiment up because why not? <laughs> I'm using the small foam squares from Spellbinders to pop it up. And this sentiment is a better press plate, actually, that I glimmered. So I will link that in the description as well, but it is not part of the small die of the month club for January. I love the fact that with the better press plates, you can glimmer. So it's kind of like a two for one. You can glimmer with it and you can better press so it's kind of a fun way to stretch your products and stretch your budget I always like to use my reverse tweezers to put these on just so my hands are out of the way and I can center it as best as I can. <laughs> then I'm going to take a little bit of Wink of Stella and give it a little shimmer. I lost my Stella pen in my craft room and I found it again and I'm loving it and I feel like I've been putting it on a lot of things which is usually my cycle. I use it a ton and then lose it <laughs> and then start the cycle all over again. Oh, I have such happy news. My husband is painting my craft room today, so I'm so excited to see it and I can't wait to show you all. <laughs> anyway, it will be probably on my Instagram sometime soon, but thanks for watching me make this really adorable card <laughs> and make sure to subscribe for more videos. I will have, I will use this die in a couple more videos this month, so make sure to come on back and check those out. We'll see you next time. Bye crafty friend.